Okay, this look is for all my ladies out there who like to keep it light, natural, and super fast. I'm going to use my detail brush, the flat end. I am literally just tapping it into my main shade, my main foundation shade, which matches my skin tone. And what I am doing here is I'm just going to even out my skin tone. I am going to put it all over, just very light amount. Um, you can use the small end to get under the eyes there. As you can see, I've definitely got some mummy bags going on. Okay, so we're going to get that done. Next, I'm going to move to Bella Bronzer with the Blush and Bronzer brush. I am going to do that C formation there, starting at the forehead, going onto the cheekbone, just where the sun is going to hit. Bella is beautiful. It's beautiful on everyone. This cream bronzer, bronzer is amazing. And then I'm going to just do the T-zone, kind of the nose, the chin. All right, let's add a little contour. Um, I'm going to use a detail brush and use the edge there. It's so nice because you just stamp it on. You just hug that cheekbone. Um, and like, again, this is buildable. So if you want your contour a little darker, go ahead. If you want to go along your jawline to minimize the look of jowls, or even if you just want a more chiseled look, go ahead. You can do it along your forehead. But this this is my super quick look for my girls out there. So I am doing under um, my bottom lip there for the pout, and I'm just giving that a quick blend. You can see it, but it's nothing major. We're still looking very natural. Okay, now I'm going in with my brightening highlight. Uh, we're going to do that on the T-zone. I'm using the small end of the detail brush. Um, get the inner corner there. We're going to blend that out, bring that under the eye as well. And then the outer corner of the eye up towards the hairline. Um, this just brightens everything. We definitely, I definitely love this step. Um, even for my minimal looks, it just, it brings, helps with the three dimension, but it also just brings brightening and lift and yeah, it's a good one. All right, so we'll blend that out. Now I'm going to use Nude Lip, Lip and Cheek. It honestly is a staple for every palette. It looks beautiful on every person. It's, it's really lovely. And then I'm going to blend it in with the dense end of the blush and bronzer. Let's add some Pearl Illuminator above that cheek shade. It's going to go down the center of the nose under the arch of my eyebrow here. You could add it to your cupid's bow and the inner corner of your eye, but we are just keeping it simple and easy today. I'm going to add nude to my lips and then I'm ready to do an easy eye look. So I've got two shades here, Bubba, my matte, which is a mid-tone brown. It's warm and it's beautiful on every eye with every color of eye. It's just, it's a great shade, honestly, a must have. I'm going to wash it over the whole lid and be sure to go up onto the uh, hooded eye there so we can see the color with or without our eyes open and then the small end to bring it under the bottom lash line. Okay, then crush this really pretty shimmer. Uh, again, just a good one for every palette. I'm gonna add it with my finger, go to the center of my eye and that's it. That is my look for today. I have full coverage. I've got the warmth from the bronzer the brightening from the highlight. It's just so easy, so fast. So let me know if I can help you build one of these palettes today.